Hey, everybody. Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Leo. So, Leo, cross watcher, please try to use the energy in a helpful way. We'll leave the reading where it is. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Leo, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Leo. Leo, energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The T is up first for Leo. What's the T for Leo? Please and thank you, ancestors. The T on Leo, Leo, Leo. Let me see. Somebody's dusting it off and moving on here, okay? That's it. Somebody could be packing up. Somebody could be putting their shit in storage. Or somebody could be unpacking and dusting stuff off. Maybe somebody just moved. Or somebody's about to. Could be an energetic move, too. It doesn't have to be physical, but it could be. Let's see what else we have. Somebody might have some kind of legal issues. Okay. Somebody might be running away from the law here. Somebody could have to go to court. Maybe immigration or child support. Here we go. You also have spiritual hater. Someone hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. So shine brighter, okay? People that aren't into the esoteric metaphysical community... Just don't get it, okay? They don't like us, just so you know. Somebody's ego is bruised, so somebody's got a hurt butt here. And their ego could be getting away in the way of a relationship. What else do we have? Okay. Somebody's about to travel. I'm telling you, moving and travel. It could have something to do with some legal issues. Like I said, perhaps some kind of immigration. It's the same shit every damn day. Maybe that's why somebody wants to go and travel. And one more for Leo, please. Somebody might, somebody might want to have one of those physicians that visits the house or something about visiting people's houses for work. Ignoring. Somebody's ignoring somebody. It could be somebody, somebody could be ignoring their legal issues. Don't do that. Somebody could be ignoring somebody because they have a big ego. Maybe somebody's traveling. Somebody doesn't give a shit. Somebody's creeping around over here. Look, somebody's looking at you from behind closed doors. Maybe they want to make you some kind of dirty offer, Leo. A dirty, dirty offer. Let's get you some romance angels. Here we go. Somebody likes to wear hats around here. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, here you go. Soulmate, that's why. Yes, this is a soulmate. That's why they're worth exploring these feelings. I'm seeing, I'm seeing like those white pillars in front of a building like on the White House. Here, keep an open mind to so maybe a museum or something. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, but it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest vibration and energy of all, like I tell you all the time, right? All right, let's get the, uh, show me, show me the energy. For Leo, please, Leo. Here we go, Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Or any planetary placement, doesn't matter, right? As long as you resonate. And only if you resonate, don't be a gabon and try to force fit. Sharing is caring. Here you go. Two of Pentacles, balancing yourself out, being resourceful and flexible. Two of Pentacles is about making, you know, choices. It's multitasking, weighing many options, getting yourself on solid ground, stretching your resources, adaptability, okay? So, what you have, oh, it's a three of cups. Some of you might have a circle of support around you. Some of you just might be socializing too much. Maybe some of you need to get out and socialize. Maybe you're so busy trying to balance yourself out that that's all you worry about. The Three of Cups does talk about celebrations, though, friendships, a circle of support, the community, and maybe social events or gatherings, all right? Ooh, that one just popped out. At the foundation situation, oh, I see. So you were busy working here. Getting yourself, you know, on solid ground, being resourceful and flexible, which led to some kind of solo pleasures. Financial gain, luxury, self-sufficiency here, all right? Everything you need or you want, except for maybe romance. Nine of Pentacles is an energy of luxury and material security. It's rewards and success for the effort for the Eight of Pentacles. So a tasty dish here. Now, 
Why are you so busy doing this? Maybe that's why I'm saying some of you need to, this could be a challenge. I always say this is a supporting card. But if it's a challenge and you face your challenges, it turns out to be supportive. So maybe some of you, like I said, need to get out. Get out. Get your ass out of the house. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Look, that'll bring some fairness and balance into your life. Justice energy. Libra. Okay? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You got Libra and Virgo now. The 11th could be of significance. The 9th could be of significance or the 3rd. Somebody could be 32, 39, or 50, or 52 here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how old you are. Okay, here we go. Now, you have the three of wands in reverse coming into your future with, you, with <laughs> what you do not see. I can't talk. It's like really early in the morning. I haven't had any coffee yet. Okay, it's like making. <laughs> okay. The three of wands in reverse is when you play it small. There could be obstacles or delays in a situation. Uh, the three of wands is maybe a restriction of some sort when it's in reverse. Maybe a lack of planning or a setback. Maybe somebody doesn't have any foresight or any end game. Let me see what's going on here. This one's got to go this way. All right. Here we go. Show me how Leo is perceiving this in their mind's eye, in the back of their head. Please and thank you. You're looking at this setback like, oh, man, something's toxic. There could be some toxicities attached to this. Maybe somebody's greedy. Maybe somebody's obsessed with anything, a person, a place, a thing, wealth. Somebody might have some kind of addiction that's delaying them here. Their shadow. This is what? Somebody's shadow. Okay, so that's Capricorn energy for the devil. That's number 15. 15 reduces to 6. That's June. So, yeah. There's, you're looking at the reason why there's a delay or an obstacle in a situation is because of some kind of toxicity. Like, in other words, let's say you were, let's just say you got hooked on drugs. Not you or somebody. Whoever this is, right? And uh, that would be a delay in, because it sets you back or something like this. Somebody can be greedy. Somebody can be obsessed. Whatever it is, it's toxic, and it's got to go. Somebody might want to control somebody here. Somebody might be completely terrifying. I think somebody's really afraid of somebody here. Anyway, look at this. In your environment, you have a two of cups. You and somebody else feel the same way about each other, okay? That's it. It's a new relationship, a new joining of forces. You know, this is it. This is some kind of um, partnership. It's an attraction. It's... Mm, what is this? The strength of two together. <laughs> okay, thank you, Spirit. Here you go. Look at this. Spirit wants you to concentrate on your happiness, love, warmth. This is going to happen over the summer where you, my nose just went off the charts here. So there could be some kind of delay in some kind of fulfillment and happiness for you, but there could be some toxicity that's in the way. Once you kick the, this toxicity out of the way, maybe not being able to um, have an end game or there's some kind of delay because of it, you're going to be the happiest Spirit wants you to be happy, okay? That's what it is. It's not Leo energy. That's your energy, Leo. It's about freedom. Freedom from toxicity, optimism, happiness, openness, truth. The sun is the 19th. That reduces to 10. Maybe something about October. There's a joyous, successful... Ah, my nose. Outcome, all right? You're going to have a joyous, successful outcome. You're going to have this fairness and balance. Now, what you have here is the five of wands in reverse. I like it. That's so beautiful. Thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. Five of Wands in reverse is when you come out of a time of arguing and hostility and conflict. And you make up. Perhaps a reunion. It could be. But it's calling a truce, avoiding any conflict. And it's about cooperation and peace. And peace be with you and also with you. Somebody is very resilient here. Somebody's persist persistent and somebody's not going to take no for an answer. Somebody's being very patient and waiting for their dreams to come true. And here the hell they are. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Leo. You got the star card. Aquarius energy, for hope, for your future, miracles happening, a renewal, some kind of um, clarity. Somebody may be being in the spotlight. Somebody might be very patiently here waiting for their wishes and their dreams to come true, and they're just about to, okay? The 17th could be of significance or the 8th. At the bottom of the deck still, we have something moving rapidly forward. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, a warm, loving energy here. That's kind and empathetic and supportive. Yeah. Somebody's going to get some kind of truth here. It's about a... Listen, it's the queen to the king of cups, okay? Somebody's trying to be very clear thinking about what they're doing. They're holding back right now and being a little defensive because they're stuck up in their head. But once this person comes out of their head, that's it. It's over. It's going to be on like Donkey Kong. Look at all this. Oh, my own. I got to put this out. 
I got it, Leo. Okay, so you got the Eight of Wands, Rapid Forward Movement. Let's keep it going, right? Then you got the Queen of Cups, the Divine Feminine. Warm, kind, caring, love, empathetic, like I told you. Sentient, emotionally mature being here, okay? But someone's being defensive. Somebody might feel like there's competition in the situation. So they're stuck up in their head. They feel like their hands are tied, their back is up against the wall, and they're making a problem for every solution. It's a bunch of bullshit. What they're thinking of is not really happening. Somebody lives in an industrial area or works in some kind of an industrial area. I'm seeing those big, huge steam pipes with all kinds of steam. So they're holding back, this person. Why are they holding back? Because they're fearful and they're worried. Whatever they're worried about is going to be different for everybody. They might not... Listen, this person could be working hard and saving their money with the Four of Pentacles, but they're not letting you know what they're thinking, feeling. They're not saying nothing, this person, because they're thinking. That's what the Knight of so uh, the King of Swords does, okay? He thinks. They think they're fair, they're balanced. They're coming to some kind of reasonable decision, okay? Um, with integrity. And they're going to articulate it to you because that's the sort of truth that's up and they have no problem telling you how they feel. They just try to get their shit, their mind together. They're trying to have some kind of higher perspective over this because they're going to come in and tell you the truth. See the sort of truth? What did I tell you? There's the sword, there's the truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this is the king of cups to the queen. So it's love. You see what I'm saying? It's mom and dad. Another ma divine masculine, emotionally mature, balanced individual. Somebody's going to take the lead here. And then you got the queen and the king of swords. See, and we're going to have a clear conversation about this. And what it is, hold on a second, my freaking fucking card. What it is, is, yeah, you're going to get the truth, okay? You're definitely going to get the truth. Somebody's going to Aries here, they're going to take control. About some kind of passionate new beginning. That you, you guys are going to have great conversations together. You're going to love each other and be very warm and kind. And it's the ace of pentacles, a new opportunity for something solid, long-term, you know, deep roots and... Very prosperous on many levels, okay? Here's the thing. You got all your wishes coming true, Leo. I mean, I don't even know. I, it's not clickbait when I put that shit up there. Here's one row of clarification for Leo. Like, yeah. You know, I want to put your future so bright. You got to wear shades. Nobody will click on it. Here you go. You got uh, 56, 18. 18 is the moon. The moon came out in reverse, okay? Cancer Pisces energy for seeing the truth. Something being unveiled, clarity, subsiding fear, understanding things. The veil is lifted, right? The moon is 18. That reduces to 9. So something could be significant about 9 or perhaps um, September. What else do we have here? We have the Three of Pentacles. So somebody wants to make teamwork, makes the dream work. And we have the King of Swords again. That's this person. The King of Swords is right here coming in to tell you the truth. Okay? Love it. At the bottom of this deck... What do we have? We have the two of pentacles. Balancing yourself out. Again, we had that. So they're repeating it. Uh, what I would tell you, we got 888 on the board. 888 megahertz. 888 hertz. That's to remove any negativity. Um, playing for your healing sound bath in the background, Leo. It is set at 288 hertz. 288 megahertz. Hold on. I need a sip. I, can't, I need a sip of coffee. Thank you. Yeah. The color for the sacral chakra is orange. The element is water, and the mantra is, I feel, I feel. The sacral chakra is located between your navel and your genitals because it is about our sexual gratification. It is about our desires, our fantasies, our kinkiness, all forms of sexual gratification, all right, and sensuality. So if you're going to use crystals, orange, anything orange, coral, uh, rutilated quartz, Maybe some tiger eye, amber, red adventurine, carnelian, and you're in business. So you're going to see the truth very clearly because this king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus is coming in to tell you, all right? And they want to collaborate. They have some kind of end game. They want to teamwork makes the dream work because you guys feel the same way about each other. You're getting the truth. Maybe somebody had some toxicity, but you're having your wishes come true. Look at this. The truth, the passionate new beginning. You also have the Ace of Pentacles over here. I know I saw it, but whatever. Here it is. See? There you go. Coming in passionately. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. What the hell else do you want? The Star and the Sun. I mean, who's better than you, Leo? So here's some kippers. Kippers for Leo, please and thank you. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay, Leo. Yeah, the main character. Some kind of hot guy, I'm telling you, number one. Whether you're this hot guy or you're the ones coming in, somebody might get some sad news. Somebody could be 41 here. 14th could be a significance of the 15th. Here we go. Somebody might get some sad news that they got to go to court for whatever reason, okay? 
but there's two main characters. Look at this. Look at this. This is you too over here. See what I'm saying? Look. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. Somebody might have some kind of a, a hands binding ceremony that's Wiccan. Something like this. Right up to like somebody's very spiritual here. Good outcome. This is gonna have a good outcome. No matter how, look. All right. Even if you gotta go to court and you get sad news about something, it's gonna have a good outcome. And this two over here, this is gonna be a new relationship of love. There's gonna be a significant change. Oh, look, somebody's come. Listen, you may get some sad news. You might have to go to court, but there's gonna be a significant change. The nine, nines across the board. Archangel Michael. Okay. And there's a rich girl and a great fortune here. Look, see what I'm saying? Rich girl, great fortune. Somebody's coming into some money. That's the Ace of Pentacles, solid foundation, right? Here, this one's down here. It could be a military person. So 44 could be of significance, or the 8th, that's August. This could definitely be happening over the summer, okay? Over the summer. Let's give you some letters, Leo. We love you, Leo. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking, freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. You have two L's. You have, somebody's lit. <laughs> you have two T's. Somebody, yeah, I'm not kidding. Look, lit, lit. I'm telling you. So, yeah, whatever that is. Here we go. Okay, two E's, two I's. Mm -mm. Okay, you have L, L, T, T, J, N, D, J, D. All right, two I's and two E's. Thank you, Leo. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.